Welcome back to the channel where we explore, learn, and theorize about the Marvel Universe. Today I'll be talking about a possibly early release for Spider-Man No Way Home, the Marvel's finishing filming, and the second episode of Hawkeye. Now let's get started. According to Oliver Chen on Twitter, the release date for Spider-Man No Way Home in China is still under discussion. The news received today is that it must release on December 10th, otherwise it can't go until January 21st or even later. The Chinese government want to pay great attention to the box office of local titles, and the reason why Black Widow was banned in China was not for political reasons, but instead due to its release date. So it's very likely that Marvel does end up releasing the movie early, since other countries like the UK and Germany are already getting the movie two to three days early anyways and having the Chinese box office would be a huge win for Marvel Studios. Next, it was recently revealed that MCU properties like Hawkeye, so basically the Marvel Disney Plus shows, are crucial to Disney Plus's success, as 63.5% of users said that Marvel shows are the main or only reason why they're subscribed to the service. Moving on, the Marvels has finished filming, which is a bit weird since it's coming out quite a while before Ant-Man 3, but that film announced its completion a few days ago. Either way, we now have two movies in 2023 that have wrapped filming and are going into post-production since remember that the Marvels was pushed back because of the most recent delays. And lastly, I'll be covering episode 2 of Hawkeye, so if you haven't watched the first two episodes yet, then click off the video now, as there will be spoilers. This episode picks up immediately after episode 1, with Clint Barton having caught Kate Bishop, who stole the Ronin suit and got into problems with the tracksuit mafia. The duo go to Kate's apartment, where Hawkeye plans to take the suit and leave, but the mafia already knows that Kate stole it, show up to her apartment, and we get the scene where they throw Molotov cocktails through a window, which results in a fire. Kate and Clint escape, but are forced to leave the suit and end up crashing at Kate's aunt's apartment. Clint goes back to look for the Ronin suit, but a firefighter that was on the scene took it. This leads Clint to go to a live-action role-playing event in Central Park and fight a couple people with foam swords. In the end, he is able to get the suit back, but that's not where it ends, as he now has to protect Kate. So he decides to get himself captured and speak with the tracksuit mafia's leader, who's briefly shown to be Frothies the Clown, but we're also introduced to Echo who's working with them most likely under the orders of Madame Mask or the Kingpin. On the other hand, Kate meets back up with her mom and she tries to dig up more clues about Jack. After some tense back and forth, she's able to put the pieces together. Jack likes swords, hence the reason why they're now littering Eleanor's apartment, and the person who killed his uncle Armand used a sword. Kate then challenges Jack to some fencing practice, but because Jack is letting her win, she tries to cut his head off, which Jack is easily able to block without even looking. Kate quickly leaves her mom's apartment to meet up with Clint, but ends up getting captured by the tracksuit mafia as well, and that's where the episode ends. So far, I have enjoyed the show, but being a third of the way through already and still not knowing anything about Swordsman, The Clown, or Echo, I find it hard to believe that Madame Mask or the Kingpin will play large roles. We also still have to see Yelena's Black Widow since she's going after Clint as well. But let me know what you guys think about all this. What other shows do you watch on Disney Plus or are you only there for the Marvel stuff? Are you excited for the Marvels? And if you watched the first two episodes of Hawkeye, what do you think of them? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you will never miss another video. Thanks for watching, and remember to wash your hands and stay safe.